This is Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures coming to you from the floor of the CME here in Chicago with their livestock roundup. And we have seen the uh, live cattle and feeder cattle really roll over pretty hard this week, which is nice to see. We've been leaning on the short side, but we are starting to cover some of those shorts and lift some hedges uh, for producers as well down at these levels. I wouldn't recommend doing that over overly aggressive if it is a, a hedge account, but from the spec side, I think you can reduce here and even potentially look to the buy side for that April live cattle contract coming into that 50% retracement or basically the middle of the range from those September lows to the recent contract highs, 118.97. I think that offers a little bit of support. We've seen cash start to pick up, 122 in the south. This is too lower from last week, but I think too lower than last week is what uh, a little bit better than what some were expecting earlier in the week. So I think the market can stabilize here and maybe find a little bit of relief as we look towards the end of the week. And also remember, it is the end of the month as well. We could potentially see a relief rally towards 123, 123 and a quarter. This is the first meaningful resistance point, a point where we would look to be reselling that uh, on the first test. Now, on the feeder cattle side, I think same type of deal. 133.25, 134.25 is a gap uh, going all the way back to September. We think this is a buying opportunity on the first test, not for a longer term trade, but for a bounce and a relief rally in the very near term. And a relief rally in this market could potentially take us towards 139 to 140. Wrapping things up with the lean hog market and lean hogs, huge technical breakdown over the last week and now bringing us into uncharted territory below the contract low. So trying to find meaningful support down here becomes a little bit of a fool's errand. If you don't have a position in this market, I don't think there's any rush to do so. There has been talk of a vaccine being uh, maybe released here in the near future uh, to help cure ASF. I think that's adding some pressure as well as just the overall risk off uh, mentality in, in the broader market. So that's adding pressure. I think there'll be a relief rally at some point. But again, if you don't have a position, sometimes the best position is staying in cash. So that's what we're looking at. That's what you should be looking at too. This has been Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures from the floor of the CME.